Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. And we're gonna continue our series of bait retrieves. I've gotten a lot of really positive feedback regarding different retrieves that I use with different techniques that will generate a few extra bites for you. I've gotten some feedback from a lot of viewers that they don't like the title of the 90% of anglers don't know this or are doing this wrong. But the reality is a lot of individuals are doing this wrong. Whether it's 90% or not, I can't answer that, but it's a good way to get people to watch the videos. And honestly, guys, I'm trying to help everybody catch a few more fish. And if that means I gotta throw out a thumbnail that might be a little bit sketchy, a little bit clickbaity, I'm gonna do it occasionally, especially if I think it's important for individuals to know these retrieves, because it truly will help you catch a few extra fish. Uh, you know, I think the information that I'm putting out is valuable and definitely there are ways to generate strikes using almost any technique, that, you know, no matter how you're retrieving the bait. But if you're paying attention, the key here is if you're paying attention to what you did to generate a strike, that's a retrieve that you're going to want to replicate. Uh, there, you did something correct on that retrieve that generated that fish to bite. So if you can repeat it, the chances are you can generate more strikes. And these are retrieves that I have found over time through my experience that they generate more bites. So that's why I'm sharing them with you. Today we're going to reach out into a topic that uh, involves finesse fishing and more specifically the Ned Rig. And I think a lot of people would say, well, why are there different retrieves for the Ned Rig? It's simply a bait that you cast out, you drag on the bottom back, and that's what you do. It's like a shaky head. But the reality here is this bait was not necessarily intended to be dragged on the bottom. It's not a shaky head. That's not what it was originally intended to do. And there's definitely things that I think you need to do with this that will generate a lot more strikes for you than just simply trying to drag it on the bottom. And before I share those retrieves with you guys, I just wanna get into the actual setup that I use just because I always get setup questions. So I figured I'd touch base on that real quick. From a bait perspective, I like to throw uh, two baits, the Max Scent Little General by Berkeley, which is what this guy is, uh, or I like to throw the straight finesse TRD by Z-Man. I think that's a great bait too. The biggest difference between the two is the TRD floats. This guy doesn't uh, float. And if I'm looking for a faster fall, I usually like the little general. If I'm looking to really slow my fall down, I'll use the finesse TRD. That's what it comes down to. Uh, from a jig head standpoint, I like the Berkeley half head. This is the 16th ounce size. That's the one I start with. If that doesn't work, then I'll go all the way up onto the heavier side and throw a quarter ounce. Uh, generally, I want a super slow fall or a super fast fall. I'll throw it on a leader that varies in length anywhere from 10 to 20 feet, tw 10 to 20 feet based on water clarity uh, from six to 10 pound test, again, depending on water clarity. And I'll, I'll take that six to 10 pound fluorocarbon leader up to a 10 pound X9 uh, braided line in the high vis yellow. I like to throw it on a high speed reel like this Revo Rocket, which has an extremely fast retrieve rate on it. And that's because I'm not dragging it back to the boat. A lot of times I'm fishing this bait only on the initial drop and a couple hops after that, and then I'm reeling it in. So the faster I can bring my bait in means the more casts I can make during the rest of the day. And then I'm throwing it here on the NSJ 871. So it's a 731 power. It's a medium light, fast action rod. Uh, custom rod that I build. So that's the setup. Now I want to tell you a little bit about the retrieves. Before I get into it, I do want to remind you guys that if you want more content from me, check out my membership. Uh, we do extra videos on a monthly basis as well as members only live streams. So check that out. Also, if you're looking for a little bit of help on your local lakes, check out my lake breakdowns. The link is in the description. Uh, that's all through fishthemoment.com. It's a great way to help you break down your lakes. Let's go check out the retrieves that I use with a Ned Rig. Hey everyone, I'm down here at the river. I'm going to make a few casts with one of my favorite baits, specifically for smallmouth. It works great on largemouth and spotted bass too, but man, the smallmouth love a Ned Rig. I've got here the Berkeley Little General paired on a Berkeley half head jig head. One of my favorite combos for catching big smallmouth anywhere in the country, pretty much year round. 
But I'm gonna show you the retrieves that I like to do. A lot of people like to cast it out and work it like a shaky head where they throw it out and they're just literally dragging it back to the boat. Just dragging it, just like a shaky head. That will generate some bites, but in my opinion, that's the like not one of the top three ways to fish a Ned Rig. And I say that because a Ned Rig gets, in my opinion, half of the bites on the initial fall. So when you have a bait that generates so many bites on the initial fall, a lot of times what you wanna do is replicate that as many times as you can. So you can do that two ways in my mind. One, you can make as many casts as possible. You can throw it out, literally throw it out, let it hit the bottom. You know, once it hits the bottom, if you don't have a fish, you reel it in and you make another cast. You can do that, but that's not the best, most efficient way in my opinion. The most efficient way is to let it hit the bottom. Okay, I didn't get a bite. I reel it about a quarter of the way in, so it comes back to the surface and I let it fall again. Hit the bottom, reel it another quarter of the way and I let it fall to the bottom again. So what I've done is three times on that cast, I was able to get the same presentation as the initial fall on a cast. So if I'm getting 50% of my bites, on a Ned rig or coming on the initial fall, that's what I wanna do is replicate the initial fall as many times as possible. And that's the way that I know how to do it. And the one of the best retrieves I can do is try to get the initial fall as many times as possible. Let it hit the bottom, hit the bottom, nothing. Reel it a ways in and I'm letting it fall again. Super simple, nothing crazy, works wonders. I can tell you guys, this is one of the best ways you should be fishing a Ned. So if that is not working and they're biting the bait more on the retrieve, so after you've worked it, then what I like to do is throw it out. I let it go to the bottom and then I create little pops. Well, not even little pops. They're pretty big pops. It's not a full stroke like you'd stroke a tube or a jig because I don't need as much wrist motion to do it with, with a spinning rod, but I let it go to the bottom and then I just go, pop it straight up. So I'm going from about three o'clock up to noon, let it hit the bottom and I'm just giving it pop. So I'm going to pop it all the way back to the boat, but it's that initial pop off the bottom, that burst off the bottom that creates the strikes. That's that fleeing motion that bass cannot resist. They bite it without even wanting to eat it. They're not truly feeding, they're biting it and eating it just because that's their reaction to it. They know if they don't, it's getting away and they're not gonna be able to, to eat it. So I'm literally just popping it back to the boat. It's simply let it go to the bottom, pop it, you know, a nice quick pop from three to 12 o'clock all the way back. I'm gonna generate a lot of strikes doing that. So that's another great way to fish it, specifically if you know that you're fishing deeper. So if I'm fishing deeper and I'm say down in uh, 20 foot of water, and I know the fish are on the bottom at that point, that's the retrieve I wanna do. That'll work better than say that first retrieve where I'm retrieving it all the way back to the surface and letting it fall just because that's super deep. That first retrieve where I'm casting it out, reeling it a quarter of the way back, letting it fall, reeling it a quarter of the way back, works fantastic on flats that are 10 feet of water or less. It's a really good way to generate those strikes. But if I know that the fish are in the bottom few feet of the water column, then for sure, I'm gonna be using that pop retrieve. Okay, so the third retrieve entails throwing it out there, and we're gonna do something that a lot of people wouldn't do with this bait, and that is let it go to the bottom, and then a straight, steady retrieve back. Let it go back to the bottom, and then retrieve it straight to the bottom. I'm not popping my rod, I'm not imparting any action other than retrieving my bait straight in, because you know what happens with this bait when you straight retrieve it? It swims from side to side supernaturally. It's one of the ways that this bait was intended to have been fished in the beginning, almost as a swim bait. And it generates so many strikes. This works great if you've got fish that are on the bottom that are relating good to uh, bait fish. It also works phenomenally well if you have schooling fish. It's one of the original intentions of this bait, but yet very, very few anglers do this. I can't tell you how productive it can be to retrieve a Ned rig in a swim bait manner. Let it go to the bottom, try to swim it, 
right above the bottom. Maybe drop it back down to the bottom once in a while so that you make a little bit of contact and make sure you're still near the bottom. And then once you hit the bottom, just start retrieving it super slow. When you retrieve it super slow, the motion you'll get out of this bait is phenomenal. Super lifelike, super natural. It just swims side to side as you're doing that back. It's almost like a mini glide bait under the water. So guys, use one of these three retrieves. Additionally, or with your other dragging techniques, if you're a dragger and that's how you love to do it, try these other retrieves next time you're out throwing a Ned Rig. I assure you, it will get you some additional bites. So thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. And stay tuned, we'll have another video coming out tomorrow.